Once upon a time, there was a girl, a very pretty girl with a very pretty necklace. She was walking by the river bank. When she came across a boy, and his name was Bolo, B-O-L-L-O, -L -L -O, Bolo. And as she came to, towards Bolo, Bolo looked at her and said, oh, What a pretty necklace you got! May I have a look at it? The girl took off the necklace and gave it to Bolo. <laughs> and Bolo <laughs> dropped it in the water by mistake. And the water was muddy and slimy. You can imagine how it was. And the girl cried, Oh my goodness! Oh no, 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 no! Jump in, jump in there! Get my necklace back! I want my necklace! And Bolo said, Ah, uh, ah, uh, in there? No, I won't. So the girl went to Bolo's father and said to him, would you punish Bolo for me, please? And the father asked, Why should I? And the girl replied, Because he's dropped my necklace in the river and he won't jump in and get my, get my necklace. And all I want is my necklace back. And the father said, No, I won't. The girl then went to a tree stump and said to the tree stump, As Bolo's father always passes by here, I want you to trip him for me, please. And the tree asked, and the tree stump asked, Why should I? And the girl replied, Because Bolo's father won't punish Bolo, and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the tree stump said, No, I won't. And then the girl went to a mole, M-O-L-E, mole. And, and she said to the mole, Would you eat the roots of the tree stump for me, please? And the mole asked, Why should I? And the girl replied, Because the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father, and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo, and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace which he threw in there. All I want is my necklace. And the mole said, no, I won't. And so the girl, <laughs> she was so persistent, she went to a cat. Would you eat the mole for me, please? And the cat asked, why should I? And the girl said, because the mole would eat the roots of the tree stump, and the tree stump would trip Bolo's father, and Bolo's father would punish Bolo, and Bolo would jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the cat said, uh-uh, no, I won't. So the persistent girl went to a group of men who were sitting in a mud hut, a thatched mud hut. And she said to this group of men, Will you kill the cat for me, please? And the group of men asked, Huh? Kill a cat? Why should we? And the girl said, Because the cat won't eat the mole. And the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stump, and the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father, and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo, and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the group of men said, no, we won't. Uh -uh, nada. So, the persistent girl went to fire. And she said to the fire, would you burn that mud out with the men inside it? And the fire asked, why should I? And the girl replied, because the men inside that mud out won't kill the cat and the cat won't eat the mole and the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stem and the tree stem won't trip Bolo's father and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. 
And the fire said, no, I won't. So the girl went to water. And she said, will you put out the fire for me? And the water said, why should I? And the girl replied, oh, because the fire won't put out. What the f because the fire won't burn the mud hut with the man inside it. And the man inside that mud hut won't kill the cat. And the cat won't eat the mole. And the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stump. And the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father. And Bolo's father won't punish Bolo. And Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the water said, no, I won't. Uh-uh, nada. So the persistent girl went to an elephant, a big, massive elephant, and said to the elephant, would you drink the water for me, please? And the elephant asked, why should I? And the girl replied, oh, because the water won't put out the fire, and the fire won't bend the mud out with the man inside it, and the man inside that mud out won't they won't kill the cat and the cat won't eat the mole and the mole won't eat the roots of the tristam and the tristam won't trip Bolo's father and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the elephant said, uh-uh, nada, no, I won't. So the girl went to a group of men, a horse, horsemen. They were on their massive big horses and they had massive massive guns and the girl said to them will you kill the elephant for me please and the man said the horseman said to her why should we kill the elephant and the girl replied because the elephant won't drink the water the water won't put out the fire, the fire won't bend the mud out with the man inside that mud out. The man inside that mud out won't kill the cat and the cat won't eat the mole and the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stump and the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo and Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. And the group of men said, ah, no, we won't. So, the girl went to a huge tree by the roadside and she said to the tree, would you fall on the horsemen when they pass by here for me, please? And the tree asked, why should I? And the girl said, because this group, this horseman, this horseman, they won't kill the elephant and the elephant won't drink the water and the water won't put out the fire and the fire won't burn the mud out with the man inside it and the man inside that mud out won't kill the cat and the cat won't eat the mole and the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stump and the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father and Bolo's father won't punish Bolo and Bolo won't jump into the river. All I want is my necklace. He's got my necklace right in there in the river. And the tree stump said, ah, uh, and the tree said, no, I won't. So the girl, persistent girl, went to an axe. And she said to the axe, Would you cut down that big tree by the roadside? And the axe asked, Why should I? And the girl replied, Because that huge tree won't fall on the horseman, and the horseman won't kill the elephant, and the elephant won't drink the water, the water won't put out the fire, and the fire won't burn the mud hut with the man inside it. And the man inside that mud hut won't kill the cat. And the cat won't eat the mole. And the mole won't eat the roots of the tree stump. And the tree stump won't trip Bolo's father. And Bolo's father <laughs> won't punish Bolo. And Bolo won't jump into the river to get back my necklace. All I want is my necklace. He dropped my necklace deep down in that muddy, slimy river. And the axe said, I can see you got a problem, girl. I will help you. So the axe went after the big tree. And the big tree went after the horsemen. And the horsemen, they went 
after the elephant, and the elephant went after the water, and the water went after the fire, and the fire went after that group of men in that mud hut, and the group of men in that mud hut, <laughs> they, 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 they went after the cat, and the cat went after the mole, and the mole went after the roots of the tree stump, and the tree stump, <laughs> it went after Bolo's father, and Bolo's father went after Bolo, and Bolo, <laughs> he ran, and jumped into that big muddy slimy river and got the girl's necklace and gave it to her.